Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. In today's video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about the space station that maintains a geosynchronous orbit directly above Lorville, that is Everest Harbor. And if you're interested in playing Star Wars Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. I'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in my next video. I also belong to an awesome org and discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. If you're looking for people to talk about Star Citizen with, uh, spend time playing the game, and learning the ins and outs of Star Citizen, then check us out. The link to the discord server is also in the description. Alright, let's get started. So a little backstory here, besides uh, being in orbit above Hurston, Everest Harbor is owned and operated by Hurston Dynamics. It is a three-floor station consisting of a habitation hangar level, a galleria, and a cargo center. It's also the station where you will spawn after uh, leaving Klesher Rehabilitation Center on Aberdeen. And like all space stations, it sports multiple hangars. For the small to mid-sized ships, there are vertical hangars, which are located uh, towards the ends of each of these spikes. For uh, larger ships like the Carrick and the C2, there are horizontal hangars that are integrated into the main ring of the station. One of the best parts of the station, in my book, are the four pads located on the two rear spikes next to the hangars. These are great for when you need to uh, refuel or repair your ship or if you need to run in and buy some additional ammo or other supplies. No need to take the time requesting a hangar and landing. Just find a pad with enough room for your ship and you're good to go. The elevator takes you right down to the lobby, but you don't need to check in your ship. Just go about your business. Your ship will be waiting for you on the pad when you're ready. And like all proper space stations, your first stop is the lobby. Everest Harbor sports six ASOP terminals, assuming they're all working. Just outside the lobby are two lounges with a spectacular view of Hurston and the space traffic around the station. Both are equipped with comfortable seating and nice mood lighting. Next to that we have a burrito bar if you're uh, just in for a quick bite. Further down the hall is elevator access to the Easy Habs. And just past that is the medical clinic, which provides not only medical care, but a pharmacy where you can buy med pens, as well as uh, the Olympus Principal Insurance Terminals, where you can transfer your imprint. Across from the Easy Habs is the Interstation Transit System, or what we call on Earth, elevators. From here, you can go to any floor on the station. Let's go to the cargo center. This floor has two areas where we can interact with the game. The first is supplies. You can make purchases off the shelf or through one of the two cargo shop terminals. Here you can purchase special armor built for extreme environments, multi-tools and tractor beams. The other area on the cargo floor that you may want to visit uh, is the rental section. From this terminal, you can rent light and medium freight cargo ships. When I first started playing, I'd rent a Cutlass Black to transfer my refined Quantanium from Arc L1 to Area 18. You could also use them if you want to see if running cargo is a game loop you'd like to try. So that's it for the cargo center. Let's head on over to the elevators and check out the Galleria. The Galleria is a two-floor area of the station with several stores and, and the station's admin office. One of the stores you'll probably visit frequently is the FPS Armor Store. Here you can buy various grades of armor, uh, undersuits, ammo, and starting with 3.19, guns. Also on this floor is the food court. The primary entrance is easy enough to spot as there is a huge glowy sign that says uh, food court. However, SIG could have done a better job letting us know how to get to the shops. The hall that leads to the food courts looks abandoned. A little signage and, and better lighting here and there would go a long way to making people feel like they're going in the right direction. 
channeling morphologists a little there, once we actually get to the food court, you'll find a nice selection of eateries. The usual Elroy's, hot dog stand, noodle bar, and most importantly, the juice bar. And why the juice bar? Because the berry smoothie is awesome sauce. I like to stock up on these because they check the hunger box and the thirst box really, really well. But that's just my opinion. Okay, now let's go upstairs and see what's going on. Uh, at the top of the stairs, you'll find the admin office for the station. If you're told to deliver a package to the station, this is where it goes, over there in the uh, Kovlex machine. And if you want to buy or sell specific commodities, there are terminals for that as well. Just outside of the admin office, we have a terminal for you to pay your fines. Been there, done that. And in this section are several video game machines that you can't actually play, sadly, and a cassava clothing store over here, in case you find yourself in need of some pretty ugly shoes. And across the way we have a Platinum Bay, where you can purchase ship components. So that wraps up my guided tour of Everest Harbor. Remember everyone, if you find this video helpful, informative, or entertaining today, please remember to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any of my latest videos and you'll be supporting me to continue creating great content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Scrap Jet out.